Wasteland is, is, is where we at. You know, it's, it's, it's how we living. You look at the news, that's Wasteland. It's my first time being in No ID studio. Mm -hmm. A lot of big plaques on the wall. A lot of great artists have, have come through here. Yeah. Why did you end up at the studio in particular? Dion the homie. So like, well, I needed a space to finish it. I'm just like, bro, we could use your spot. He's like, hell yeah, come through. He got like all the sense in the world. Like he the synth guy for real. So all the sense in the world, anything you need, any tool, any type of guitar, any like, if there's any like resources you need, this is the space to go, so. The last time I saw you was in New York, shortly after you dropped the world. Yeah. I think the world really took your career to another level, right? I think you got introduced to a bigger audience, mm -hmm. more fame came, more money came, like you said. But at the same time, it was a difficult period for a lot of people. So what, what was it like for you having that level of success and exposure while also realizing that, you know, things weren't that great for a lot of people? I don't know. It was interesting. I feel like it was just a lot of, a lot of mixed emotions. There was a lot of shit going on. Like, in addition to COVID, that's also when, you know, George Floyd got killed. That's when it was a whole lot of shit going on. So, like, I remember being in Atlanta and protesting and getting tear gas during the day and then going to the strip club that night. Wow. Then going to the studio the next day and talking about what the just happened. You know what I'm saying? So, um, I think that's where a lot of Wasteland came from. Just uh, just this this idea or um, um, just my perspective or how I viewed, you know, the world we was living in at that time. I mean, Wasteland definitely took things to another level. There was a lot of anticipation for the album. Mm -hmm. I don't know how you felt going into it, but also, what did that success feel like? All of that, the attention, the fame and the money, was it easy getting adjusted to that new lifestyle? Nah, it took, it took, it took a, lot of, um, a lot of conversations, like with, with other people that, you know, that... Um, that are, that are in this position. It took a lot of conversations with God, conversations with myself, with my family, um, just to decide. Because I'll be I'll be ready to quit every five minutes. I'll be like, man, this is getting stressful. I'm out. And that's where you get to escapism, right? Which you talk about on the album when you start exploring being toxic and you call yourself a villain at some points mm -hmm. on the album. But at the same time, a lot of it just feels like transparency. Listen to the project and start off, you know, villains, villain's theme and it ends with Angel, you feel me? It's just a whole full circle moment, you know, that's self-realization, I guess. Um, but I, I try not to write too much from any particular perspective. Like, I want to give the full range of human emotions and experiences, not just the good or the bad or the excited or the, I want to give you everything. It definitely is a range. To your point, by the time we get to, to Angel, it's like you have to run that track back a few times because after everything we've heard you say throughout the album dealing with all of your vices, the addictions, you know, being bad in relationships, falling in love, enjoying it, you know, infidelity, things getting in extreme. Like, how have your relationships changed as your career has grown? I think ultimately uh, the, the one thing that I that I that I lack is is free time. Mm. Um, I feel like it's like in personal relationships, I don't be having much time to really. Uh, um, to explore them too much, so I think a lot of a lot of my emotions I just put into the music. Like I'm kind of like one track mind. Like I know at the end of the day, like I want I'm I'm a create. So it's like um, if I'm with you and I'm spending time with you, uh, that's cool all the way up until like I get an idea, I gotta create like back to work type. I mean, as you feel that this like stress. As your career like gets further, it's only gonna get more more stressful. Do you feel like you're dealing with it well, or are you always just trying to escape for the moment? Honestly, like anything that come with this, that could possibly stress me out to make me think that it ain't worth it, mm -hmm. I try and just tuck that somewhere else because this motherfucker really out here struggling. Yeah, and that's part of you know this idea. It seems like out of the album of America being this wasteland, right? Like this, mm -hmm. it's all about money at the end of the day and it feels like in a way we like kind of watch the country cave in on itself right mm -hmm. we're taking away women's rights we don't care enough about you know climate change we can't get like gun violence under control because like money is really the root of everything uh, what what i find like with like with money right and comes like like freedom right you get like um you get access you get time to like sit and ponder and think about mm -hmm. like so I think what I find like 
with with money and access comes more of this realization like, damn, like, like what the f are we all doing here? I think with that comes a lot of pain, you know? How? Being able to see for what it is like that can make you cry. It was interesting that you decided to crown yourself the, the Ghetto Gatsby on the project. Being in a position where you 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 acquire so much in a in a in a small space but still feel like you don't necessarily deserve it. Mm -hmm. I feel like that's kinda triumphant. Like that's why I put with Gatsby because like while he kinda took it and was ashamed of, of where the f he came from and the fact that he didn't he wasn't born to no money like um he really should have stood on that. That's like a strength. That's triumphant to me. Like I feel like this is a whole glitch. Like the way I came into the game is like they should not let me in this I don't know how it happened, I don't know what happened, but I'm here. So what makes you feel grounded these days? Like my family, my mom, um, my team. A lot of my team, we came up together type of, like went to high school together, middle school together type of, so every, it's because this this is really, you know, built around family. It really ain't I'm really never in a in a position where I gotta be brought back down to here. Mm -hmm. Like we all kinda did it together. You've definitely always had a tight circle. I mean, Wasteland is the first project where it feels like you really, really opened up outside of, um, you know, the Saunders circle, the Lost Kids circle. You collaborated mm. with more people. What was that experience like for you? Were you really open to it or did you have to get pushed in that direction? But it was really just organic. It wasn't like, like the, the, the plan wasn't to put a body of work together initially. I was just traveling from place to place, doing sessions, working with different And it just all made this one project. So it was just the homies type. It still feels raw. It still feels very mm. much like the Brent we've always known, although you've evolved as an artist, right? It doesn't feel like you make anything watered down just mm. because of the way you are. So how is that actually like writing for the project? Um, it was fun. I liked them with the dream a lot. Um, that's like the finisher for real, for real. When I, when I got records and I'm stuck on them and I don't know what to do next to it, like, it could be some shit I've, I've been sitting on for like damn near a year, and I'm just stuck on it, bro. That shit on that shit. Bro, and it's like he'll finish them in like five minutes. So it was fun, like just a lot of conversations. How did you know when to call in the finisher? Like, did you put yourself on a timeline for this al album, or you, were you just? No, nah, it was none. I think this might be the the first project where it was it, it, it was not down to the wire at all. It was like when it's done, it's done, and we're gonna put it out type. And then you got them last minute records that come out that's just perfect. Like, like you get them particular tracks that you work on when you're like, mm, let me just squeeze out a couple last minute ideas just for fun, just for the hell of it. And that's how you make the most fire. What were some of those on the album? Jackie Brown was, I think, the last the last record that was recorded. Crazy, because that's definitely one of my favorites. It's yeah, one of the best. I did that like right before type. Angel was another one that was right before. I mean, the production is also important on this album. It kind of structure it almost feels like a play. Then you know the production is all to uh, assist the narrative. We, we wanted to keep it very um, Shakespearean. You know, I wanted to feel like a tragedy where you got this 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 uh, this protagonist and he got this this fatal flaw. Like which, like in, in the record, like for me as women, it's lust. So I wanted to emphasize on that. I wanted to bring out that like that feeling, that emotion. So I think the strings and a lot of the elements production-wise made it sound more um, regal. The skits. I'm wondering why did you make those such a central part of the album? I know I wanted to do skits just because I'm a big fan of skits on albums. Like mm -hmm. not, my introduction to music was a whole lot of like Snoop and and, and Biggie and and Pac and so I, I like just skits because I like that classic hip hop like element to albums. My executive producer Freeze, um, he wrote the script and I was like, yeah, this shit crazy, let's do it. So we went to a movie studio, did all that. Sent it to a sound designer. When we got it back, it was like a movie. I'm like, yeah, this is perfect. It is like a movie. And I mean, skits can evoke different emotions on different albums, right? Some can mm. be more fun, some just bridge songs. But yours, they're uncomfortable to listen to, especially yeah. once we get to the, the last skit. It's like hard after the first time to even play it back. Yeah. And I'm wondering why, why you wanted them to be that uncomfortable to listen to. I wanted it to be jarring. I wanted it to, to give you a jolt. I wanted it to kind of... Um, I want you to feel that emotion. Uh, like me personally, I feel like that's that's my goal ultimately. Like as a as an artist, like what I want to do is make you feel it. Whether you, whether or not you like what you feel is a whole other conversation. But you're gonna feel something. Wasteland is is, is where we at.
You know, it's, it's, it's how we live. You look at the news, that's Wasteland. You read a news article, that's Wasteland. That's where we at. To check out more of my conversation with Brent Faez, look for the full interview and stream on Apple Music. Let's go.